Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. Today we are working in Embrilliance as you can see by the layout. I am Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to be talking about Stitch Artist 3 and a couple of really cool, really cool, quick and easy buttons to press to make awesome designs. And this is what we're going to create and what we're focusing on is this really cool outline. Now a lot of people know they can do this in Enthusiast with knockout stitches, but say you just want a line and you want it to be, you know, further away than the knockout stitches. How do we do that? All right, well let's start and I'm going to show you guys it, it's really quick and easy to do. So let's go into our library. Let's pick uh, the flower. I guess we can do the same flower or do you want to do something different? Um, we can do floral eight, double click on it, brings it in. So right now that's just a vector graphic. There are no stitches on it. So let's go into stitch mode and let's just make it a plain um, fill stitch. And you know what? That's fine. That looks pretty good, I guess. I don't know if I like orange, but it'll do for this video. So if you wanted a nice outline on this, of course you could manually set up this outline, but it's gonna take you a few minutes to do it and it might not be perfect. So why don't we do a shortcut? So the first one is up here and it's called create an outline from stitches. Simple, you click on that and right over here on the right, you can see we've created an outline but it's still too close. We want it a little bit further out. Why don't we change the color on that outline first of all, and then you'll be able to see as we progress to what we're doing. And honestly, it's quick and easy, and I think everyone will find that you're using it on a lot of things. So we've changed that outline to green, and um, we can, I guess if you want to, we can assign a stitch or we can do that after, but the second quick key is called inflate objects. What does that do? That simply makes an object bigger and still keep the line. So let's look at that. I clicked on it, inflate. Now, if you were doing lettering, which we're gonna do, um, in, I think in the next video, you'd wanna remove holes. We don't have to worry about it because it's a solid outline. Um, soften corners, you can work with that if you want or don't want. I think generally when you're making an outline, you don't want it exactly the same. You want it a little bit smoother. So I like it. I leave it on. Now here's where you can, uh, let's move this over so you can see in real time. Here's where you can bring it up. Let's see, what would we bring it to? Maybe four, let's try. And you can see in real time, this is our original outline, which also happens to be our fill. And if you want it further than that, just make it further than that. And see how the lines are getting softer. It's not quite as sharp. And I think that looks great. And that's it. That's all you have to do is click OK. Now it says right here it's still an outline. So let's put a stitch on it and back stitch is fine. And look what we have perfectly outlined, perfectly done. Really honestly, that was in two clicks, super easy. You could change that to be any stitch that you wanted. Let's try something really weird, but maybe cool looking. I suppose you could do it opposite, but you can click it into a motif fill. Now, obviously that's not gonna work that way. So let's right click and we're gonna do move first. And there you go, and it's perfectly outlined and it looks fantastic. Then you can play around with the motif stitches and see which one you like. Um, but that's how to make a nice solid, either an outline or you can change the stitches. You can do anything you want in two clicks here in Embrilliant Stitch Artist 3. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.